And I had seen Dance. Hanya Holm used to come to Colorado Springs in the summer, which is where I grew up, and I didn't see her often. I think I probably saw her once, but I knew a lot about her and had seen films. But I, uh, I don't know. It just, it just jumped out. You just knew this was not ordinary dancing. And, and we, and, as a company member, we hardly ever saw her dance. Mm -hmm. We, we would uh, often the company would do a piece, and then we were changing clothes and then Sybil would do a solo and we would have to sneak in the back of the theater and see it for the first time. And, uh, but um, it, it was always special. My husband was a cook. Sometimes she'd come to a Sunday dinner and she loved it when he did like meat and potatoes, your standing rib roast, that was good. And uh, he was a, a musician, a pianist, and we had a grand piano in the living room. And sometimes after dinner with an intimate group of six, eight, friends, he would sit down and just play kind of spontaneously and she would get up and just start moving in the living room. It was like, you know, it was just really, really special to have that kind of performance in your home. She could do all of us in movement, I mean, and not like a comedian or anything, but she could, I don't know, like if, if she was sitting in this chair, she would all of a sudden just start moving and it would be one of her daughters. Well, she always had German Shepherds. Yeah, but right. she did talk about teaching movement, of, like the movement of the leaves, the movement of the wind, mm -hmm. the movement of butterflies, whatever. And, and, be, and nature was very important mm -hmm. to her. It was very important to her.